Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Farwad, and today I am doing um, my literally first impressions of Destiny. The game's been out three days, yes, three, no, what, 9th, 10th, 11th today, three days, yes. Um, and I've actually finally managed to actually get the server issue sorted, and by doing that, I actually made a wireless network connection rather than wireless. I mean, currently it was wireless, now it's wired. Anyway. The first impressions of this game, this is actually um, the Destination Destiny series, uh, the audio didn't work again, so this is what I'm, I'm just commentating over this. Um, so basically, first of all, the graphics, oh my god, the graphics, literally, like, I'm not all that person that's like, oh, if it has shit graphics, it's a rubbish game, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not that sort of person. I don't mind graphics on a bad game, I don't mind, ba like, below par graphics. But this game literally blows my mind with the, the sheer scale. I mean, look right now, in the background, you have that massive fortress wall. Ahead of you, you have dust bowls. You have... It's just literally groundbreaking stuff. I mean, the, the lights actually flash on and off. You have the, the different weapons, the, the animations. The, there's so much stuff. Uh, the radar's cool. It's a cool, uh, cool little addition. The knifing's cool. Um... It just looks like a cool game. A cool game. Um, also, the gameplay feels exceptionally smooth. Literally, with the X Xbox One, when you got those... Um, oh, on the joystick, on the sticks, you've got the ridged bits, so you have more um, control. feels so smooth. So smooth. It's, it's actually pretty ridiculous. I mean, in comparison to the uh, Xbox 360, you always felt like you were trying to back away from the middle on the 360. But on the Xbox One, even though the sticks do obviously return to the middle, it it just feels so smooth, so brilliant with the Xbox One. Um, oh, also, um, this is probably something Bungie took from Halo. Um, with the the um, the lore of the game is in depth and amazing. Literally, the the lore of this game is just literally beyond the comprehension because the way the Grimmar cards work ha does mean means that. Um, you literally, you, 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 you get them in game, and then you go on Bungie.net, or even on the app, and you look them up, and it's brilliant. It really is brilliant. And it, it's so fun, so fun. You just go through, you're looking at them, and I've got loads of rare ones. I don't even know what the classification for rare is. I think gold might be rare, uh, like, plain is common, obviously, uh, and then you have red, which I'm not sure is, but I think uh, there's purple, and that's, like, ultra rare. Uh, super rare. Um, also, I think the, the idea of mission difficulty is a big thing. Uh, there are multiple difficulties you can do missions on for bonus XP, um, ranks, you know, uh, coins, or coins, the, the, the money uh, DLC thingy. Uh, not DLC, what I'm talking about. Uh, the Glimmer, that's the one. I think that's a good idea. That means you will replay the missions for this sort of. Um, yeah, you will replay the missions if you need something to do. Uh, you will come back and replay the missions. That was one bad foot thing about other games, is that um, if the mission difficulty was turned up, uh, the game didn't necessarily change uh, that much. You wouldn't get any extras. Uh, like in Halo, for example, Legendary was just the same as normal. You, it, it was just harder. And you, you literally got a fancy emblem at the end when you complete the whole cam campaign in Legendary. But the way this works is that you get far more XP. The way the different planets also work, that is brilliant. I love the different planets uh, sort of thing you got going there. Um, there's so much room for DLC, it's unreal. This game is built to make money from DLC. I mean, you can... All Bungie need to do is just create another galaxy. They just create another galaxy and say, here you are. Another, I'll just say, £25. Yeah? So that's like half a game. And you get a whole new galaxy, whole new worlds to explore. That's all they need to do. And they've pretty much sold it. But I know DLC, obviously you get weapons, armors, sk uh, skins, not really. Um, but yeah. Um, also, the towers, the main hub of the game is pretty good. Um, there, is, uh, there is quite, a, there's some bits to do in it, in fact. Like, for example, um, there is, I don't know if you guys have got it, because I only recently discovered it. It's the, that you can get one of the Grimoire cards there. It's the, the Dead Ghost Achievement, which you actually get in another mission where you find in a... Um, basically, as you, when you spawn in the tower, you go left, go up the ramp, and I think if you 
jump up the wall or up an elevator or something, you go there and you can find a dead ghost which you can revive and it will give you um, a bit of that Grimoire card, so that's just a hint there. And you'll see that later in this series, in fact, because I do unlock it. Um, change armor should be in the game, that's my opinion. I think that the fact that you can't uh, change your looks is a bit bit more a uh, bit bad because looking back at my character I would much rather change him but nevertheless I don't mind it uh, magic making is solid uh, however it is a bit random with the power-ups uh, in my humble opinion uh, some of the power-ups like I managed to get oh my god it's the sickest I got a triple down uh, with just the, the flaming pistol you know the power-up you get for hunter I was like boom boom what? see that later man see that later in the series looking forward to that one that was brilliant um, I sh it should have been, I don't know what the next one up from uh, triple is, because I could have got four kill streak, uh, the four one, not kill streak. Um, what else is there? Uh, yeah, I think actually though, um, you can actually change that for competitive. So if there is a a, a variation of that for competitive, that would be absolutely amazing. That means you'd be able to see it on some sort of competitive vibes. Although having said that, as this game is more MMO, um, I don't think you're actually going to see much competitive from this game. Um, despite it being called competitive multiplayer, um, but yeah, um, maps look refined, extremely refined online. That the achievements are brilliant, as you just saw there. The challenges and bounties are amazing. I really love the, the challenges you can get, and that well, the bounties actually that's what they're called. They're called, they're called bounties, but I refer to them as challenges. Um, they're really good. They're really quite nice. They're quite difficult in some respects, but quite easy in others. I mean that most of them are actually uh, world. Um, world re relative so you can only do some of them on earth you can only do some of them on the moon uh, i've got one where there's 100 enemies about dying managed to complete that that's later on in the series giving you spoilers here um finally uh one last thing that i haven't actually done yet is the community events look amazing and i mean amazing i mean just taking down that massive walker <laughs> as a as like a strike team it's just quite frankly amazing i know one of the missions you did i actually disconnected from the mission that actually uh, does involve this but um yeah it's actually quite frankly just brilliant um other than that guys that is my first impressions uh, i'll probably be giving you a first impressions or not so first impressions because um yeah uh the servers were bad for me but they're better now now i've managed to get the wired connection i definitely hope that they stay like this if they if it goes back bad again i don't really know what to do um, but yeah guys, it's been your boy Firewall Kid. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I've definitely enjoyed making it. This game is absolutely insane. If you have not got this game, uh, so get it. It's literally, if the servers are good for you, it's worth an Xbox One, in my opinion. Anyway guys, that's all from me. Like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.